Hey everyone, what's going on? So the other day, we covered the Yield Max payments. What they're dis distributing for each and every uh, ETF. Obviously for the, only those that are paying. As you can see on the screen, this is what they sent out. This is the document that they... Um, well, the first... <clears throat> people always ask me this. The first communication they send for this is typically through email. So if you want to be on that communication, just go to their website and go to, I believe it's under contact them. And if you plug in their, <clears throat> plug in your email, you'll now be on the distribution list because uh, the communications for these announcements, uh, I believe the first people to know is via email. So if you are interested in that, um, I would I would go to the website and check that out, plug in your email, and hopefully you'll get a, every update going forward. So, so yeah, they announced that, um, what every single fund is paying. They announced the new rate, the 30-day yield, X date, record date, payment date. So, obviously, declaration date and X date have pretty much, you know, come and gone, right? Today is what, the 9th? So today is record date. So today they're plugging in their numbers, um, you know, on their financials. So that means nothing to us. Record date is the one of the dates that really is useless to us. It's more use, useful to them, but it's just informational. The next important date, though, is payment date. We get paid November 16th, right, which is next week exactly one week away next week on Thursday. So I decided to run my numbers just to see what I'm going to get paid in total for each fund for the following week. So let's, uh, let's take a look. So here is what I owned out of the yield max funds. Um, I own Tesla, I own OARC, Nefli, Amzi, Nvidi, and Kony. And Will I add others? Possibly. Again, I have to do some research uh, before I do that. But these are the funds that I plan on, you know, adding to, holding, etc. The only one that's on the fence is OARC. They have kind of disappointed me uh, as of late. But hopefully, you know, things turn around and they get some, some more respectable payments. So my biggest holding is Tesla. And I own 1,700 shares. They're going to pay out 58 cents or 0.5846. You know, a lot of these, they go out to the decimal. And I could uh, show you that. Wait one second. I go like this, drag it down. Google Sheets is very picky. So if I add, let's say, two more decimals. Why is total payment doing that? Anyway, all right, so if we just go to distribution, add two more decimals to that, and we go to total payment, and we want to keep that one just in the number format. We don't want our total payment to show more than two decimals. But when we go to our distribution, just so you know, they go out to the decimals. They go out to you know four decimal places. So Tesla is paying 0.5846. I really, really, really was hoping that this payment would be $1,000, and it's not. It's $993. I missed it. God damn it. Maybe, maybe I'll get it next month. But that means either they'll have to raise their distribution, or I'll have to add more shares, which I did not plan on. But as you know, sometimes I can't help myself. So total payment for Tesla is $993. Now, you know, that's obviously the big chunk. Everything, you know, going down the line, my next biggest payment is AMSI. They're going to pay me $97.90. Next is OARC, $88.25. Nefli, $78. Nvidia, $70. bucks. Kony, $21. I'm getting a total payment on November 16th of $1,351. Now, what am I doing with that? I am letting that go into the account which I just got moved to Schwab and, you know, already I'm finding things that I don't like. One of which is I do deposits every week of $250 and guess what? The funds that are available for trading, which is the 250, I can't buy 
funds like Tesla or Clip or things like that, it's considered day trading or something stupid of that magnitude. Like, come on. Like, really? Not cool. So I have to wait four business days for my money to clear every single week now. I don't know, man. I'm not happy with Schwab so far. They screwed up my cost basis per share. They're working on that. And it's just whatever. Anyway, moving on. So I'll get $1,351 on November 16th. That'll go to my cash position. And then again, as always, the plan is to buy on a daily basis, average in five to 10 shares. I will probably run out before the next payment date, but you know, is what it is. But I'd like to add five to 10 shares per day until this money runs out. Until this money plus any additional cash I add weekly. You know, waiting for the four day hold, of course. But, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. So I'm looking forward to that. Decent chunk of change. Um, hopefully I could beat last month's uh, total payments. You know, when I include all of my others, which is like, you know, s uh Spy I, QQQY, Jeppy, etc. So, and a clip. So now let's look at current yield. So these... These yields, as you saw on that spreadsheet, like Tesla is yielding 61%. Well, that's great and all for the people that own it at this price. I don't own it at 1141. I own it at 1482. So my yield on cost is actually only 47%. So, you know, regardless of what the website says, it doesn't matter. What matters is what your yield on cost is. 47% is still good. Um, my goal is to yield 40% on average, at least starting out. And, you know, it's getting a little close to that. So hopefully Tesla kind of recovers. If not, I may have to average down. I got, I want to get that yield on cost at least a 50% for Tesla at some point. Um, now for OARC, my yield on cost is 31%, but th for them it's 37%. That one doesn't look as bad. Uh, Nefli, 28 versus 29, close. AMZ, 30 versus 31, close. NVIDIA, 22 versus 23, close. And check out Kony. Kony, my average is 1898. The current price of Kony is 2195. The current yield on the website is 58%. But guess what? My yield on cost is 68%. I mean, it's too bad I only own 20 shares, but... Um, I should have bought more, obviously should have, would have, could have, but it's great. My, you know, for what I own, I am yielding 68% and I don't want to buy more. I don't want to average up, but you know, we'll see how this trends. You know, I'm, I'm, exp you know, Coinbase will probably tank at some point, right? The government will say something stupid about crypto and boom, there it goes. And then I could buy more Coney and average down. So, so anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm getting paid, if you cared, um, and what my yield on cost is versus the current yield. I really think you guys should also do this calculation. Um, so you know, you know, you're not just because the website says the yield, that doesn't mean that's your yield. Your yield could be worse, it could be better. But anyway, $1,300 coming in next week. I'm looking forward to it. Um, can't wait to buy some more either yield max funds or maybe I'll dip more in, into defiance once I understand them a little better. But as always, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. And if you guys can, it would be cool if you could leave in the comments how much you guys are getting either for all your funds or for Tesla or whatever, right? Just let me know. I'm, I'm curious. Um, whether it's more or less, I really don't care. I want to, you know, we should cheer each other on. Let me know if you beat last month too. So, um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I got for today, guys. Uh, have a great day. Later.